In the last tutorial, we looked at using menus with WordPress. In this tutorial, we're going to look at using some common functions in WordPress. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the third set of template files that I've brought in, and let's just take a look at those files right here. Now, I've got the same functions file, which just says register the sidebar, just very simple. In the index file, I've got some changes. Now, we're using some other information here. For example, we've got a lot more PHP tags. This one right here gets the character set that we have in our settings. Here we can get the blog name and the title of the current um, page that we're on. Here we can get the style sheet URL. And by the way, the style sheet URL um, seems to be preferable to the template URL that I have here below it seems as though the template URL is only active for the master template, whereas style sheet URL would work also with child themes. So if you're wondering what's better to use template URL or style sheet URL, I'd probably tell you to go ahead and use the style sheet one. Um, I have another one here with template URL, but it's all the same. Anyway, that, that echoes the folder that the template that we're currently using is in. I've got other things like echo, get option home, blog information name. Uh, we've got the title that we've done that before. Here's some other things that I'm using inside um, the actual loop. I'm getting the post ID. I'm getting um, an edit for the post link. I'm getting the permalink, which is the link to this particular page that we're on. I'm getting the title of it. I'm getting the content, and I'm getting any tags that I might be using. And I'm able to also output tags with more information. For example, um, many of these um, functions have arguments that can be added, such as the tags, and you can do all sorts of different things with them. We're not actually going to get any output with this, because I don't think I have any tags right now. Um, but I think that's it. Let's just go ahead and take a look at what this template does. <clears throat> this is number three. I'm um, sorry, let's see. Yeah, common functions, so it's in there. Let's uh, go ahead and test our site. Now it doesn't look a whole lot different until we start looking at some different things. We've got here the title of the page, and that was one of our functions. Here's the edit this, so let's take a look. There's the edit link. Here is the um, link to home and blog name. Let's see, here's our post link, let's see, permalink, so um, we didn't really have anything in there. There's the permalink with the H2, and no tags were there, so we didn't get any tags for the current page, but we did get the content, of course. But there are lots and lots and lots of different tags like these that you can use. In order to experiment with these, you really have to take a look at other um, templates that are out there and try and find these single PHP tags and see what these functions do because these these can add a lot of different capabilities to your website um, once you have a handful of these that you know and use a lot. And that's pretty much the end of this tutorial so go on to the next one where we're going to do a little bit more especially with sidebar widgets I believe. Yeah we're going to deal with widgets and functions in the next tutorial.